Our next speaker is Gabor Mate from Vancouver. He's a physician on staff at the remarkable Portland Hotel that cares for people in Vancouver's downtown east side who are suffering from mental illness, drug addiction, and or HIV. He is the author of a book with one of the most fascinating names I've ever heard, which is In the Realm of Hungry Ghosts, Close Encounters with Addiction. Good afternoon, it's a pleasure to follow these two um, speakers. The people I work with, of course, are people at the far end of the drug using scale. They're people who suffer from HIV, who die of it, who don't live uh, beyond their 40s and their 50s. If they don't die of HIV, they'll die of overdoses, cancers, infections, suicide, violence, and um, other drug use related conditions. This, of course, does not necessarily reflect the harm caused by drugs, but it reflects the harm done by society to drug users. The question that, of course, comes up is why would people put themselves into a situation where they would be facing the loss of everything that humans usually value, family, uh, possessions, health, teeth, dignity. The North American response to that question is simply that this is a bad choice, and since it's a bad choice, let's deter them, and if we can't, let's punish them by means of draconian drug laws. That, of course, has zero science behind it and utterly lacks compassion. The other assumption, of course, is that drug users are simply genetically uh, prone to uh, become uh, hooked on these drugs. It's simply a genetic problem, both of which assumptions allow us as a society to completely ignore what social conditions and what human experiences may actually lead to addiction. The reality, of course, is that the myth that drugs are addictive simply doesn't wash, doesn't hold up against the most obvious and the most superficial scrutiny. 